Charlotte, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Do. These are my co-founders, Joyce and Marta. Do is a brand that rethinks how we do skincare, and we're starting with reusable sheet masks. Sheet masks are an incredible way to hydrate and hold products close to the skin, but they cause a lot of waste. A traditional sheet mask has a box, a pouch, an insert, and then your mask. It's a lot, and it doesn't have to be that way. We created a reusable mask for the most delicate area, your eyes. They're incredibly durable, made with 100% medical grade silicone. All you need to do is choose an eye product or serum you like, dampen your face, apply product over the area the mask is gonna sit, and let that product get tacky for 20 seconds. Sit the mask on top and use it for 10 to 20 minutes. You can have a coffee, FaceTime someone, work, do your eye makeup, even do a cat eye, or just take selfies. And for an extra cooling effect, place the mask in the fridge or freezer. When you're done, patent any excess and wash the masks in warm water. Dry them and place back in the tin. And remember, this is important. We're doing great. This is what a $136,000 order of my skincare products looks like. And I want to take you guys through how we did it. This major retail buyer bought 2,000 of our Glacier Water Sprays, 700 of our Dreamquake Night 10 Body Scrubs, 800 of our Tan God Oil and After Sun, and 500 units of our Hyablend Blend Glow Oil. We started by printing thousands of barcodes to help the buyer organize all of these units in their warehouse. One of the biggest lessons that I've learned is to print clear barcodes on the actual packaging. If we had just done this from the start, it would have literally saved us days. But the whole team worked overtime and we got it done. Next, I dismantled all of the boxes that our manufacturers shipped the products to us in, and then I went to Staples and bought brand new boxes. It's important that the boxes are sturdy and safe for shipment. Next, it's time for special labeling. One of our products comes in an aerosol container, so it's important that we put this sticker on that indicates it's safe to travel. Then we build the boxes and load them up with our products. All of the Dew of the Gods products are blessed by a Buddhist monk, so it's totally fitting that all these boxes have been blessed for a safe journey. Now we wait for UPS to pick up the boxes and hope for another big order. Does your skin look like this? And you want it to look like this? Here are the products that cleared my skin up. Link in bio. Hey guys, I'm going to show you all how to use the Anime Skin Collection. So first, I start off with the Jelly Face Wash, and this is a nice gentle cleanser. It washes off all dirt, but doesn't strip your oils. Next, I use our Charcoal Face Mask. This purifies the skin, removing toxins, and also replenishes it with good minerals. Next is our Hyaluronic Acid, and this adds hydration to the skin and keeps it looking fresh and bouncy. After that, I'm going to use our Brightening Moisturizer. This adds moisture to the skin and also reduces dark spots. And last but not least, our Glowing Face Oil. This adds that extra bit of glow and lots Taking care of my skin has been part of my life since birth. My grandmother was from Shanghai and having good skin was the highest accolade a Shanghainese woman could receive. She fed me chicken feet, bone broth, bitter melon, snow fungus, and taught me that taking care of my skin was self-love and would bring me self-confidence. I wasn't allowed to wear makeup, but I could play with her skin lotions and potions. Because she felt when you have healthy, glowy skin, you don't need to cover it up. And you know what? She was right. Raise your hand if you have dry skin and your skin gets flaky when you shave. Maybe you should be shaving with the oil. Shaving with the oil makes your skin look more hydrated and glowy. It helps to fade dark spots and scars and it gives you smoother skin. I have really bad eczema and I have strawberry legs so I exfoliate with this coconut salt scrub and it helps a lot. I don't use perfume, it dries my skin out so bad so I use this coconut body butter and the scent lasts all day, just like a perfume, probably better. Ever wonder what it'd be like to live on the ocean with no houses for miles, only you, your stuff, and your boat? I often imagine sleeping to the sound of waves and waking up with the sun in my eyes. If you could,
Would you escape everything haunting you on land? Cause I fucking would. exfoliating masks that are better than the ordinary solution. Don't get me wrong, this is a fantastic acid and it's very cheap. But if you want to support a small business and try something that's a little bit more tailored to your skin, you might see some better results. I'm obsessed with Chemist Confessions. Two brilliant women scientists making a skincare brand. Yes, yeah, sign me up. Usually it's a marketer or somebody who sees a gap in the marketplace that's creating a brand. So whenever I see a scientist behind anything, they can have my money. Baby Steps is a PHA mixed with lactic acid, so it means that it's very good for people with sensitive skin or for people just starting out. If you have acne, oily prone skin, blackheads, this is a fantastic solution. It has the 2% salicylic acid, mandelic acid, which is a little bit gentler on the skin, but still tough on oil, and niacinamide. So it's really a much stronger powerhouse than if you're just gonna be using the ordinary solution. And lastly, for hyperpigmentation, for people with lighter skin tones, the mix of glycolic acid and transamatic acid is really strong, as in, you shall glow. Just a bit more tailored and I like them better. Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. This one is a custom order for Kira. She decided to have a soap made with a black and white marble on the bottom half with pink on the top half. And then she asked for each bar to have two black hearts. For the fragrance, she chose Black Raspberry Vanilla, which is actually the most popular fragrance for my custom orders. Here you can see that last step of the soap making where I'm adding on the black embeds. Those are also made of soap. The next day, I was able to unmold the soap and cut it up into bars. And there you can see the marble swirl on the bottom, which I think turned out fantastic. If you are interested in placing a custom order for soap, just send me an email pink turtle soaps at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. How to build a dope skincare brand that is minority owned that you know people are gonna love. Launch a phenomenal first product. This is my vitamin C serum called the Brightening Potion because why not? And this vitamin C serum, I live in Florida, so I made it all smell like an orange. Also, this product is already live on our website, lizmolano.com. That's not it for me. We gotta go further. Focus on the ingredients for your products. My vitamin C serum is gel-based instead of being oil-based like you can find at Sephora and Ulta, so it won't clog up your pores. Create a skincare line around the vitamin C serum. Here's my eye serum and here's my moisturizer. They round out your experience with the vitamin C serum. It's phenomenal. Create phenomenal content. Create content that you're so proud of that other people are gonna to wanna to use and then be proud to post on your own Instagram for it. Like and follow. I want it, I made it. 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 It's not a game, it's a rich thing.
I'm Selena, a licensed esthetician in Savannah, Georgia, and this is a day in the life of an esthetician setting up for a facial client. So first thing I'm gonna do is get some hot towels going, just get some towels and some hot water, wring them out and put them in my towel warmer. Then I'm gonna put some distilled water in my facial steamer, turn it on, get ready, uh, get warm while I'm doing some other things. I'm gonna go ahead and make my bed up, fold it down, make it nice and comfy for my clients. I'm going to put a little head towel down and a hair wrap just to make sure people's hair doesn't get too wet. Um, then I'm going to set up my little facial station. I'm gonna put a towel down and pull any products that I'm going to need for my facial. Um, and in a minute, you'll see my little setup. Yep, it's right there. Uh, by this time my steamer is warm, I can turn it off and I'm ready for my client. 